that? But uh, my idea about this, um, you can have a problem because you can sit in some kind of cave and like meditate for 10, 20 years and imagine all kinds of things and do some kind of mental exercises and always be in the realm of the placebo effect. So I kind of think it's a cool thing that today we have the technology to have a low cost system where you can actually really get a direct feedback of what's happening in your mind. So it's a simple thing. I will also introduce a few concepts uh, about mind machines and brainwaves in general because I'm kind of combining everything that's possible in the MetaMind system. So let's talk a little bit about the basic things. Most of it you probably know. So there are these things. Oh, why well, cannot see as well? There are these things called brainwaves. Like we all like generate them and send them and send them out endlessly into space, but they kind of weak. So. But there are these different brainwaves, like uh, millions of neurons, they have impulses, and so when there are many neurons, there's a general background noise brainwave going on, and you can separate them in different frequency bands. Uh, so you probably know that usually they are in the usual mental state, you are in a beta wave, that's a normal mental state, you are externally focused, you are in a normal, normal state. What probably all, everybody else also knows is the uh, alpha waves. So that's kind of when you like close your eyes and breathe deeply and kind of relax in nature or something. You get alpha waves. And then if you're a little bit more advanced in meditation, you can actually re reach the theta waves. They are slower. And sometimes they also happen uh, during dreaming and REM sleep. The theta waves, uh, delta waves are just for deep sleep. And the uh, latest research is sometimes focusing on gamma waves. They're even above but they are very, not very well understood yet, so sometimes if people do special things, or it's, it's believed, if it's necessary for the brain to like synchronize the whole, whole brain somehow, to do something, then it will be gamma waves. But I'm not so much focusing on it because I'm mostly interested in meditation. So, any questions about brain waves? I mean, you all know about it. Just the, uh, what part of the brain is being measured? Or um, general? It's all over the brain. Um, but my system like, has, uh, looks at the two hemispheres. Okay. So I have this brainwave information for the left and for the right hemisphere. Mm -hmm. But you can also have a single electrode. Uh, this, this general brainwave, background brainwaves, they're just all over the brain. And they kind of like say, what is your general mental state? Like, are you sleeping? Okay. Are you awake? Are you relaxed? Um, so it's not specific. Like, I cannot, um, I'm just looking at this broad thing. Yeah, I don't like have like a 64 medical grade EEG system. That's not low cost. <coughs> that's not open source. That's not for everyone to do. So, okay. So the brain. So that's what's behind it. What what the system is looking at. Then there is one thing to. So how can you like alter the the brain? And how can you stimulate it to go to certain brain waves? A simple technique for doing that is uh, bin all beats. So it's basically the concept is very simple. You have any kind of um, frequency you give to the left ear like 220 hertz, and so you just make a difference of maybe 10 hertz uh, and give the same, uh, give a slightly higher tone to the right ear. And usually you will, you will think you will be hearing two different tones, but that's not what happens most of the time. There is an effect, it's called auditory processing artifact, so the, the brain, like, inside your perception, you will not hear two different tones, you will hear only the difference between those tones as an oscillation. So maybe um, in a few seconds I can show you, there's a stereo system, you can experience this. So that's one way how you can stimulate the brain like, to go to a deeper state. I would just like to be starting, I, there's this open source program, it's called... Now I can show it for a second. It's basically how it works, you start at a high frequency, like 12 hertz, where most people usually are at or something, and you slowly descend, descend down, and then have few spikes. That's what simple thing you can do with bin all beats, and some studies show they actually work, like they stimulate, most people, if they if they allow it to be, they will go they will go down. I can even see this uh, with the neurofeedback EEG system. So, and that sound. Yes, yeah, like hypnosis or meditation, but it's a machine controlling it and like in a controlled way. It gives you a, a certain bin all beat for a certain time amount, well defined, and then you can see um, what happens. But I think it's a good combination if you combine it with meditation or hypnosis. Uh, it can be a tool for, for a professional practitioner. 
Even you can look at meditation masters and see what brain waves they usually have. Like Dalai Lama has done this, and some other people. And you, you can generally see. I mean, that's well known. Like if you have lower frequency wet brain waves, that means you are meditating. So so I can just like, like I just show, showed. I can start with a bit of tone that's at the normal frequency, and then slowly descend the frequency. You almost cannot hear it, but your brain will notice it. Descend down to a lower frequency, and if you let yourself zone into it, your brain will follow, at least to a certain degree. And that's where the neural feedback comes in, because usually if you just listen to binaural beats, they slowly go down, but maybe your brain is not following. So it's really cool if you can see, oh, is the brain actually following the binaural beats? Wait for it, and then go step by step down. But that's, that's a combination. Let's keep it simple, go to the next te technique you can use. Like that's something the, the hippies came up with in the 60s. Uh, they just used to have like a turntable and make some kind of cardboard, cardboard structure with different holes in it at different uh, distances. So depending uh, on your height, you would be looking at uh, I mean, the turntable with a light source in the middle that's rotating, and you have this cardboard thing. So depending on how high you hold your hair and close your eyes, uh, hold your head and close your, close your eyes, you will have different blinking of the frequency. Like nowadays, you can do it uh, with technology, like blinking light, or even a blinking computer screen. That's, that's how I implemented it. But there used to be this classical thing, so mind machine. So, so there's another way how you can stimulate the brain, you give a certain blinking light, probably everyone knows it from like a dance club or something, it kind of can make you go into a meditation state. Yep? Were hippies aware of its effect on the brain waves, or did they just chance upon this? Uh, this I guess so, I mean, then Timothy Leary used to do it, and some other people were experimenting with it, with certain substances, and uh, okay. I, I guess they realized some, something changed in their consciousness. Um, but nowadays it's well understood. So you have been all these, you have blinking lights, and the brain usually follows it. Hmm. <laughs> so there's another way how you can do it. Some, some of you maybe know Mitch Altman. He has is an awesome guy who made this very easy to build brain machines. <laughs> so you can have the glasses, they have an LED, that's my version of it. It just blinks in a certain frequency and it's controlled by some kind of computer system or uh, a software where you can set the, the pattern you want to have, like this is a pattern I, I came up with for brainwave flexibility. It's supposed to, supposedly for unlocking new mental states. So most people are usually like in a certain mental state, maybe two or three, and they can change it. Like, today I'm feeling good, um, today I'm feeling creative, mm -hmm. today I'm kind of feeling lazy. It's different brain states, and usually people are not able to control them. They just have a few of them and go through their life. But with this, like, you can train to unlock new mental states, or just make your brain more flexible. Uh, that's one idea, like, use a way, just start high, go down, and then you really will go crazy up and down. But I mean, that's just different mind machines, basically. Things that combine the blinking and uh, the bit of piece. To combine it, it's the best combination. So then we come to no neurofeedback. That's, uh, I think, a fascinating thing because you're not just doing something and hoping the brain is somehow affected by it, you can actually see what's happening. So, usually it's done for like HDD children, that's what you see here, a uh, small boy is like trying to keep a car in the middle of a rose or something, and by this game, like learning to better concentrate. Um, or like in a professional way, it's usually done like this. Always there's some kind of visualization, some kind of game you play, uh, that while you're playing it, will, over a longer time, change your brain waves. Um, yeah. So it's about the feedback. So you get the signal from the brain waves to, to the machine. They are somehow displayed and make noises. And then you feed them back. So you have this circle going on. And that's an interesting thing because depending on how you set the, the machine, how you configure it, you get a synchronicity. You get a loop, a feedback loop going that both things in here and here, they synchronize to each other. So depending on what you, what you set this to, this changes, <laughs> so it's kind of like a, but you, you will see later. So that's a broad idea about neurofeedback. So you all get the concept, you put stuff on your head, you can see your brain so it's kind of easy. <laughs> what, what emotional states can you try? Well, emotional states are kind of complex because most of them happen inside the brain, like in the amygdala, inside the brain, and I'm having um, electrodes on 
top of the head, so I can only very 